Welcome back to CBS 58 News at 5. It was a violent weekend in Milwaukee and it ends with two teenagers shot. Now they were the victims in separate shootings. One was a 13 year old hit while inside his home. The other a 14 year old girl who is pregnant. Fortunately, we're told their injuries are not fatal. The CBS 58's Kim Shine has reaction from people who live near one of those shooting scenes tonight. Kim. Well, both shootings happened within about eight hours, the span of a normal work day. But the people who I spoke with, they say that nothing is normal about what happened in these two incidents. Bullet holes and crime markers both now have a new home at this duplex near 104th and Keenaw. Milwaukee police say a 13 year old boy was shot while inside just before eight Sunday night. No suspects are in custody. A man who says his mom and sister live on the second floor was shocked to hear about the incident. This was the first time like actually me getting a call saying something happened to my mom. For safety, he did not want us to show his face. He says his mom's friend lives on the first floor with her kids, including the 13 year old victim. But it was like 20 shots sent up into the, the house upstairs and downstairs and one of the kids ended up getting grazed. And I guess the, the person, whoever did it, they were standing up quite a bit feet away from what happened. Since January 1st, Milwaukee police say there have been 15 homicides and 61 non-fatal shootings of teenagers. Their ages ranging from 13 to 17 years old. One neighbor says he feels Milwaukee is no longer a safe place to live. I know some people get mad sometimes and you don't want to retaliate, but guns are dangerous. I just think they should be for protection for your home, for your family. Hours earlier and around six miles away, police say a 14-year-old pregnant girl was shot while with friends in a car. It happened just before one on Sunday near 40th and Hour. Police say the girl is expected to survive, but her child is in critical condition. And the girl's aunt told me that their family did not want to speak with media right now. So far, no suspects are in custody. Here outside of MPD District 7 headquarters, Kim Shine, CBS 58 News.